Tweens are often called uh, digital natives or generation.com and we could add a lot of different labels showing that those who are between 8 and 12 years nowadays nearly wherever they live in the world they have been raised in a culture marked by the media so they are in a sense digital natives and it's interesting then and challenging at the same time that uh, that phase in life is really in very important regarding the development of the world view usually uh, we have tended to think that the worldview is specifically developed in the teenagers, teenagers, the years of the teen. But now researchers say, no, by the age of 13, most young people have a, a certain value set, a certain view of humanity, a certain view of reality, they have something where they find meaning, so they actually have developed a worldview by the age of 13. Well, some even say by the age of 6. But anyway, as the context is changing, also the quest of identity is something that arouses in the kids much earlier. And I say kids, even though I refer to tweens. So how then do they develop the worldview in a postmodern era? David Howell, a youth worker, a theologian, he says that due to the changing context, due to postmodernism, young people, when developing their worldview, they do that in response to four different um, aspects. They start with themselves. And then they move on to their peers, their friends. Thirdly, it's uh, about uh, the world quite immediately around them. And fourthly, it's the beyond, the divine. And they adopt that to how they relate to religion or to a secular ideology. So really, if we follow David Howell, as I really do in my research as well, I realize that uh, due to the enormous focus on the individual and the fact that, of course, each one of us are closest to ourselves, we start by asking, who am I and what's in it for me? And the answers given are very important as a foundation for our worldview. So, self, peers, world, and beyond. Four foci around which the worldview is being developed.